Oh, I just got some expired Instax white film in the mail from one of you lovely viewers. This expired in 2015. Will it still work? Let's find out. You know the type of guy that was a jock in high school but ended up becoming a huge nerd? You know, someone that's not afraid to make a fool of themselves on the internet. And someone that likes to shoot Polaroid a little too much. Did I say huge nerd? You know, just an ordinary, everyday guy. Well, that's me. I'm just another Chris. Welcome to today's video. Like I said, I got some expired film in the mail recently from Michelle. Shout out to you, Michelle. Michelle is getting married and has some of this expired film laying around and wanted to see if I'd be willing to test it out to see if it works uh, before she uses it at her wedding. So she sent over one pack of film. I have a feeling it's gonna work. Fuji Insects film tends to be really, really good when it comes to expiry dates. It tends to work under some not so great conditions. Fuji really does have their stuff solid this stuff is bulletproof any long time viewer knows i love shooting expired film polaroid instax whatever it may be it's pretty fun you just never know what's going to happen and the oldest instax film that i have shot is 2017 so this is going to be pretty interesting if you guys want to see any of the other videos that i have done on expired film through polaroid and instax i'll leave some links in the description below now let's head on out and see what we got i have a feeling it's gonna work I need to get better lighting in the equipment room, but I've uh, got the film. Let's open it up and see if it works. This again expired in 2015 of March. Some of this older film, when you open it, has a funky smell. I wanted not to be right next to it. Oh, hmm. It actually has a little bit of a stronger odor than normal. So, we'll see what happens. All right, let's go shoot some photos. Sun's in a really bad position. Everything's in shadow. Daddy days. This building's actually red, but you can't see it because <laughs> it's in shadow. I haven't shot Instax in a while, actually, and I do love shooting Instax, um, but it's really difficult to have photos taken of yourself with this thing because you can't put on a tripod there's no remote shutter there's no timer even on these cameras so it's a little frustrating so I did the best I can I wanted to uh, go outside shoot some and then shoot some inside and results were interesting so first things first they totally worked they spread evenly and developed photos and they're crystal clear amazing so Michelle you have no problem using this film now however there's some things I noticed Mainly just one thing. The contrast of these photos aren't quite contrasty, like a typical Instax wide film or just Instax in general would be. They're a little more faded, but I don't know if they use a different formula back in 2015. Well, this actually probably would have been like 2013, 2014 when they produced this film and it expired in 2015. So I don't know if it was different back then. I never shot any um, of that old. I never really got into instant photography in those days, but they don't take away from the photos at all. They just seemed a little more washed out than normal from what I'm used to shooting. And when I'm outside, uh, I always darken my shots. I always underexpose them because I want that beautiful blue sky and get some really, really deep blue tones, as they would say, uh, using Instax photos. I love that. And I did that, but I wasn't getting the ocean-like deep blue colors. They're a little more washed out. Not bad though, they're still really, really good. <laughs> but yes, it was like the wrong time for me to try and go shoot this video outside, especially with these photos, because everything was in the shadow because it was high noon, even though it's like five o'clock right now. <laughs> the sun has just been sticking around a lot longer lately. So there wasn't too many options in my area because I'm actually in my new studio space and I'm kind of tucked away in a corner. And so there's not like a ton of opportunity for cool landscape shots uh, where I'm at currently. Uh, so I got a couple of shots done and, and, and they came out pretty good. There's this one right here though that's a little interesting. It has some like what looks to be clouds in the sky. I don't know if that's the film problem because it's not on any of the other ones, but it could potentially be a lens flare um, from the sun being so high in the sky. I thought I was facing away from the sun like the sun was behind me but I don't know, that one is unique. I've never seen that before. The saturation is what I was kind of trying, um, like for this one here, this is just my couch out front in the 
main lobby area. And this is a photo of a photo. <laughs> I wanted to see the contrast a little washed out still. It should be a little more colorful. This is, this is being very critical. I know that, but that's the point of it, right? To see uh, what it can and can't do in comparison to what you can go buy new right now off the shelf. And yes, this is the Back to the Future slash Stranger Things VHS camcorder. <laughs> I picked it up recently. Video coming soon on this guy. Stay tuned. For the test, I was using the uh, Fuji Instax Wide 200, 200, the 200. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great camera. I did a review on this already, um, but honestly, most of the Instax cameras, actually all of them, are basically the exact same. They have not changed their camera ever. <laughs> it has a different body, same everything else though. There's no extra features, nothing like that. Um, if you want to step up into another camera that shoots wide film, there's Lomography out there. Then Mint has a few cameras that shoot wide, but... expensive. Really, really, really expensive. Framing with an uh, Instax camera can be tricky and I've forgotten about how tricky it is. So some of these shots aren't quite aligned perfectly. <laughs> but to answer the question, does it work? Yeah, they totally work. This stuff is totally acceptable. To, I think it's they're, they're perfect. Um, they're just not quite as contrasting, a little more saturated than I'm normally used to seeing, like I said. So I don't know if it's just a different format from back then or the age has done that. I don't know. What are your guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you, Michelle, for sending this on over to the P.O. Box. Yeah, if you guys want to send me some stuff, I'll test it on out. Info is in the description. And also, I'll, I accept hate mail. Please, send me some hate mail. I'll see you in the next video. Now get out there. Make some art.